2.0. We are going to have a little bit of an innovation, I would like to call it, with a magical fishbowl. Former fishbowl, now the swoo bowl. It has topics that you suggest and we're going to talk about it starting now. First topic, efforts being made to repair damage done by the tornado in Oklahoma in comparison to the efforts against Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Whew. Well, as you guys most likely know, there was a huge tornado, like it was a mile wide, uh, that just happened in Oklahoma, and if you want to donate uh, money to help the Red Cross help Oklahoma, text Red Cross to 90999, and that'll give 10 bucks to the Red Cross. But uh, this question I think is really important because um, when you think of Hurricane Sandy that just happened, a lot of people in Congress said that they didn't want the federal government to be supporting the states affected by the disaster yeah. that much. But now an Oklahoma senator was one of the gov or one of the senators that voted against aiding Sandy victims. But now that it's in Oklahoma, uh, I'm sure the senator is going to want a little federal assistance, especially with the damage that's so great. And I think that when you compare it to Katrina, when it took ages to get any help in there, right. it took forever. And so I think, yeah. right, so I really hope that things are recovered quickly and Oklahoma can get on with its life because that was a terrible tragedy. It was. Anything you want to add? Um, no, just sending my condolences out to the families and anyone that got hurt. As am I. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Next topic. Uh, animal abuse. It's oh. bad. Bad. Yep. Don't do it. Is that all we have to say? Pretty much. What? Soft spot for animals. Go! <laughs> um, internet freedom. Okay, so like we've seen bills like SOPA. Oh God! I think Lex is against SOPA. <laughs> but there's been other bills that have been like SOPA in disguise. Okay. All that nasty stuff that none of us want to see anymore. <laughs> I'm quite passionate. Well, I, I think it should be that the internet stays without censorship. Yeah. Unless it's something really, really, really bad. Um, even that, I mean, if humans are insane. Well, what about like child pornography? That, well, that shouldn't be there. Well, obviously it's illegal, but it's still there. Right. But should it be censored is what it is. Yeah, no, I mean, next one. I, I think child pornography in instances like that, it shouldn't be there and it should be taken care of. It shouldn't just be removed from the internet. Yeah. I think it should be addressed easier. Yeah. Like easier to be like spoken about. Alright, one more? Yeah. Male privilege. Uh, Here we go on uh, the feminism bandwagon. Woo! You, you take this one. Okay, well, um, I guess you could consider me a feminist. You could. Sure. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, male privilege is just kind of like the whole idea with, you know, uh, double standards and all that good stuff that we all kind of want to get rid of. But there is a lot of, like, catches, I guess, when you think about um, things like firefighters, for example. We talked about this in history the other oh, day. Oh, yeah, we did. How um, women firefighters and men firefighters have two different um, tests to prove whether or not they can be. And, like, for example, then that eventually led on to a conversation discussing whether or not women should be allowed on military front lines. Oh, yes, women in combat. Yes. That was an issue recently. When you think about it, women, scientifically speaking, do have a higher um, endurance, endurance rate. rate and pain tolerance. And so if we're not allowed to be put right smack down in the middle, <laughs> <laughs> hey, calm down, we might as well have some sort of special forces. Yep. Sure. Anyways, women in combat. Woo! Okay, um, I guess this is your favorite sex, and it's just wrapping up.
I'm Zoe Havacos. I'm Lexi Lambert. And I'm Brianna Hasso. Thank out. you for joining us on Saxon Wrap Up 2.0. Peace out, Girl Scouts.